Who's our guitarist, isn't it? Who have the was the uh, third lord Rahu transiting through the eighth house and the seventh house. Now, uh, with Jupiter transiting through the twelfth house, you know. So when when Rahu Ketu is transiting over the second house and the eighth house, you know, the, these natives have been facing a lot of changes. Now, when the nodes are transiting through your Lagna after March seven, that's when there can be a strong sense of uh, transformation that can come about there's a big change in the way how you are actually looking at your own life as a ketu transiting over the lagna might make you more aware about uh, how how much you have been denying yourself and rahu transit over the sound house can even open yourself up to marriage possibilities also or new business partnerships so things like things of that nature but what, what i would also say is that the third lord uh, rahu transiting through the eighth house and sound house there might be, be there might be this sudden interest in short travel sudden interest in Public appearances, sudden interest in socializations, uh, you know, and all of this can happen in a very sudden manner for a Sagittarius ascendant because of uh, because of Rahu's involvement, and um, because thing is that they might be they might find a lot of um, um, peace of mind through a meditation or spiritual practices or even contemplating upon books as Jupiter is in twelfth house from Sagittarius ascendant, uh, so perhaps they might be. Rediscovering the old books which they used to read, or they might be coming across the old notes or old letters to the teachers you have written, and then suddenly that is inspiring yourself. You know, maybe you might actually pick up an old diary which you actually wrote, and then uh, even though you don't recognize the person who you were who wrote out, who wrote those words, but then suddenly it's inspiring you in one way or the other. You know, things like that can happen. Also, um, there might be interest in learning. Maybe a new um, language, or also uh, learning to write, or you know, do some artwork. There might be certain interest in um, wanting you to learn uh, the calculations of how to do a Jyotish chart. Maybe you want to learn the basics of uh, astrology or any other forms of um, you know esoteric uh, information. Also, what I uh, what I feel is this transit is going to be uh, a very Redefining one for the Sagittarius ascendant or a Sagittarius moon, uh, because they need to really now uh, go back and you know look at what they have been doing, and maybe they want to reanalyze what they want to achieve uh, going forward in the in the next one year, because there are some major transits for the Sagittarius ascendant, which for the Sagittarius moon, which is going through because Rahu will be transiting through their um, eighth house. Till March, and after that, it's in the seventh house. But seventh house transit of Mars can also give them an opportunity to get to uh, go and speak at uh, you know at a different venue, or maybe they get to attend many meetings and business meetings, which will keep them you know uh, keep them traveling uh, quite a bit for uh, the Sagittarius ascendant or Sagittarius moon. And if they are looking to author a book or write something like blogs, I think this is a good time for them to do that because you know Jupiter also. Um, you know, gets uh, it's the eighth. It gets exalted in the eighth house for them, uh, where Rahu is going to transit, and then Rahu will be transiting into the seventh from the Sagittarius ascendant.